Good morning, team. I'm waiting for some resistance to be created. If you notice, the 30 minute just keeps going up, keeps going up, keeps going up. I need some resistance to be created up here and then I'll know. And then I'll have an idea where to make my top zone. Look at the volume of the candles. This is, I'm on the 30 minute chart. Look at the volume of the candles coming down. And look at the volume of the candles going back up. Very little volume going back up. Real slow, progressive process going back up versus the drop. So even though price is going up, the sellers are still in control. Yeah, I'm liking G I'm liking gold for sales. I'm just waiting for because I think I think uh, gold wants to come to demand. We'll see. Do I have a 15 minute? Yeah, I do have a 15 minute. Let me start with a, um, a temporary 15 minute um, resistance. Let's see if that holds. So that's the top zone I have for gold at the moment. Um, based on the 15 minute, based on the 15 minute, which already has a couple of rejections. That could be a good entry for a sell. Had I been paying attention to the 15 minute candle, I would have already gone in on that sell. Perhaps it will give me a clear 30 minute rejection and then a, another move up. Now at this point, what I would like to see is for uh, gold to close something like what it's doing right now. Then come back up one more time, reject one more time and break the low. And as it's breaking the low, that will be my entry with my stop above those wicks. You could almost say that this is a retest of this breakout over here. Notice how these candles, I'm looking at the uh, 30 minute on gold. The 6 p.m. candle from last night and the 6.30 candle from last night left a, a clear, clear support that then broke with the 8.30 candle and it had not retested. And this is that retest. Okay, so you got uh, 30 seconds. I'm waiting for this 30 minute candle to close on gold. And hopefully again, we get a move up for a drop down. I'm gonna open my magic keys and see if we can catch ourselves a sell. If we can get it, it'll be something like this. It's gotta go up first. I don't want to see it go down first. I want to see it go up first. I want to see that clear wick from the top to the bottom. I'm not in the trade. I'm just waiting to see if it can give me some another rejection at the top to break the low. There you go. There you go. Okay, I have a top wick. It didn't make it all the way up. I would. I, I would really like it to go to see it go all the way up. Just watching the action. Nothing to do. When the bank opens. Uh, at eight o'clock, I expect some movement to happen. The US Bank has not been open since Thursday, so I expect some movement. All right, so there goes a move up on gold. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it now. If it, if it wants to come crashing down now, I'll be even more happy. If it keeps going up, there's nothing to do. I'll just wait for it when it gets to supply. But that is the move I want to see. It's even better if it goes all the way up and rejects. But it's even gonna be even better. Even better, better. All right, first sign of a wick on gold. Let's see it. Come on, gold. Show it to me. Show me the money. All right, here we go. Just keeping an eye on gold. Still not in it. But so far, it's done everything I've asked it to do. I asked for it to go up, it went up. I asked for it to give me a top wick, it did. Now it just needs to turn bearish and break through the bottom. And then uh, I'll be very happy with my trade. In the meantime, there is no trade. I like that rejection. I like that rejection on gold. Still waiting on it to prove to me that it wants to sell. At this point of the game, I'm going to probably have to see a fourth rejection with the open of, of New York. Because I never want to take, I never want to take the first movement of the New York open if it starts going down. I want to see it go up first and then crash down. I don't want to put a sell stop here because I don't want it to trigger me by just going straight down and then going back up. I want to see it go up first. Okay, there's the open of Nueva York. This is where you get tempted to take an early entry, which could have happened, right? You could have taken a, 
With the hour candle closed, you could have taken a sell here already. With the hour candle closed, you could have taken a sell. I'm just waiting for the break of the low as a higher confirmation. Gold is bearish for the day. Daily. I mean, that's a big rejection. Still bearish on the day. For four hours. Bearish, 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 bearish. Bullish, bullish. I'm really just waiting for a bearish indication to take a sell. I just got it in the one hour. So I just need a confirmation of that by it breaking the low. It retested that up there and now it's starting to come down. Still watching it, still watching it. I'm gonna go in. Now I'm in. Okay, I'm up 0.4, let's see if it goes. Okay, 2.4, three. It should continue going at this point, guys. There you go, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, twelve. Keep running. Fifteen. This is already a good winner. Sixteen, seventeen pips. There you go. Eighteen, nineteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, I took a good chunk there. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. That was an easy trade. Twenty-one. Twenty-one and a half. Twenty-five pips now, guys. Up 25 pippers. Now this is where it may have a reaction, right? This zone right here. We'll see. It's got uh, four minutes to the metals market open. I'm probably gonna take another chunk before the metal market opens, just because I don't know the reaction that it's going to have. But that's 25 pips. That's also, guys, the value of waiting for the break of the low. You saw how we waited and waited and waited and waited. Once it broke the low, it just went. That's a good Monday morning, guys. 26 pippers, 27 now, 28 pips, 30 pips right now, 31, 32. This may be a record Monday today, guys. 36, 33, I think that was 35. Yep, 34 now on a Monday. That's a good day, guys. That's a good day. That's a good couple of days. It's got 30 seconds left for the metals market open. This is the reaction to, uh, again, the metals open, the metals market open. And that's gonna be the one trade of the day. Did you make money? Did you make money on that trade, guys? Did anybody make money on that trade? I don't wanna be the only one taking advantage of it. Basically, it went all the way to 39 pippers. 39 pip drop. And then the metals market opened and you see the reaction to it. D took it, okay. All right, somebody had to take it. Contra. That is it for today. A very nice 35 pip, uh, let me 39 is where it ended up at, right? Yeah, 39, 39 pips. I'm glad you guys were here with me. I will be here tomorrow. Same bat time, same bat channel. God bless you. Bye-bye.